the batter. Amen. Look, y'all. Sometimes God changes up our schedule, all right? And when he does that, you got to believe God's going to be, uh, God's going to do something, uh, you know, intentional, all right? Everybody say intentional. All right, God's going to do something intentional tonight. And so uh, in order for us to really receive what God has for us, all right, we don't want to just go through the motions. I know this is, you know, we're, it's Tuesday, we're thinking Bible class, and look, God's going to have his way. Going on, we're going to get that fixed. All right, but here's what I want, here's what I want before we get started, all right, because you know, some are still gathering in. I want you to link up really fast. Link up really fast, all right, because we don't want this word to fall by the wayside. We don't want, you know, what God is going to do tonight. We don't want to miss it, all right? So really quickly, let's let's get in a small group, get in a small group. Come on, small groups, not large groups, small groups. Let's link up. Let's link up tonight. We greet those of you that are joining in online, uh, watching live, those that may watch on a replay. Uh, we pray that you will right now and well. We'll figure it out. Amen. Come on, let's 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 minimize all distractions in this moment, all right? Let's minimize all the distractions. All right. All right, I know we've all been busy, school, school started back, and uh, work, and, and all the busyness of today, all right, but let's fix our minds, let's fix our heart on Jesus in this moment, all right, let's fix our minds and our hearts on Jesus, all right, and that means, that means we need to pray, let's pray for our neighbors right now, come on, let's open up our mouths, let's open up our mouths, let's pray for our neighbors, come on, let's pray that their hearts are, are open and receiving uh, the word of God tonight. Come on, children, you can pray too. Come on, we need everybody to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, speak to our hearts tonight. Speak to our minds, speak to our souls, our spirits, God. Hallelujah, God, we're, we're inviting, invoking that quickening spirit to come and rise among us tonight, God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And we pray that all flesh be silent tonight and and the spirit of the living God will manifest yourself in our midst, God. God, let us help us, God, that we may have an ear to hear tonight. Have an ear to hear. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we bless and honor you. God, we thank you for the press. We thank you, hallelujah, for those of us that have came out tonight. Oh, God, we pray right now, hallelujah, oh, God, for a special release, a special miracle, a special blessing, uh, a special door that will open. Um, oh, God, oh, God, to everyone that is here tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus. Come on, people, let's press in. Let's really press in. In the name of Jesus, come on, let's take this, let's take this prayer up a level. Come on, let's just take it up a level with, with complete expectation tonight. Come on, complete expectation. Come on, we want a move of God. We don't want it. We need a move of God. We need a move. We need a word. This is not something we just want. This is not something we can afford. To, uh, uh, if we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. We have to get what God desires for us tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Let's begin to call on the name of the Lord. And let's call on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we lift your name on high, God. God, you declare that if we call on the name of the Lord, we shall be saved, God. We shall be saved from our enemies, God. You know every enemy that is attacking your people. God, you know every enemy that is attacking our minds, attacking our households, attacking our children, our marriages, God, attacking our finances, God. You know everything that is at work. Hallelujah, God. But we declare right now, hallelujah, God, whatever those weapons are right now, we declare they shall not prosper in the 
the name of Jesus. Come on, people. Come on. Let's begin to press in. Let's begin to call on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive us of our sins. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, hallelujah, of our shortcomings, our trespasses, our transgressions, God. Hallelujah. God, forgive us right now. Help us right now, God. God, that our hearts are, are ripe and open, God. Well, God. God, we're opening our hearts to you. Hallelujah. We're breaking up the fallow grounds of our hearts right now in the name of Jesus. Come on. It's too quiet to hear. Come on, people. Come on. Come on. Let's, re let's begin to reach for the Lord. Let's reach for our Father in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's pray like we really want something tonight, like we really want God tonight. We really want him for our family. We really want him. We really want him. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, we don't only want you, we need you. We got to have you. We can't live without you. Father, it's in you that we live and move and have our being. Hallelujah, God, we declare it right now, God. Hallelujah, you are the Lord, and there is none beside you. You are the Lord God. There's no other. Hallelujah. And God, we want you, God. God, we need you tonight, the true and living God, to arise in our midst. Let God, we allow you to rise. As David, let God arise. God, perform a thing tonight. Speak and declare. Hallelujah. Heal and make new in the name of Jesus. God, we're bless you. We're blessing you in advance. God, we're thanking you in advance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, your will be done tonight in the name of Jesus. And God, we're forever grateful right now. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, if you really believed, you prayed a prayer of faith for your neighbor. Hallelujah. If you really believe in the prayer that you just prayed for your neighbor, this is not about us, right? It's about your neighbor. Hallelujah. If you really believe what you just prayed and the blessings that you prayed over their life and, that, and the ability for them to hear God tonight, hallelujah. I want you to take this next 60 seconds and I want you to clap your hands and, and shout unto God and give him the praise that he deserves. Come on. Let's give him the praise that he deserves. Let's give him the praise for answer prayers. Let's give him the praise for the deliverance. Let's give him the praise, hallelujah, for the blessings. Come on. I said 60 seconds. Come on. That's only 10 seconds. Come on. Hallelujah. If we're going to get we're going to get this miracle, we're going to press into this one. Come on. If you're going to get this breakthrough, hallelujah. Come on. We're not going to be at a patty cake through this one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The adversary ain't going to let you just get this for free. You're going to have to get after this one. Hallelujah. Come on. We're pressing in his presence tonight in the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. It's too quiet in here. I need you to shout with expectation. Shout unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. We're lifting our voices on high. We're declaring, God, we receive it. God, we declare it. We believe every word you're going to speak, God, in the name of Jesus. Come on. That's only 30 seconds. Come on. Let's take this praise to another level tonight. Come on. Let's take it to another level. Come on. Come on, people of God. Hallelujah. Come on, I hear you clapping, but we don't hear the shouting. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. You're gonna, it's going to take some shouting if you want these walls to fall down. It's going to take some It's going to take, take some shouts of expectation, shouts of repentance, shout. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we trust you. God, we believe you. God, we adore you. God, we magnify you. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for allowing us to be in this house tonight, God. Hallelujah. God, you allowed us to be here. And so, God, we receive what you have for us. Come on, come on, come on. This is the overflow right here. Come on, come on. This is the overflow praise. Come on. Hallelujah. This is the sacrificial praise right here. God, we bless you. We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name. Everybody shout in Jesus' name. I said everybody shout in Jesus' name. It's in Jesus' name. All right. Let's go ahead and remain on our feet. Come on. Are you ready? Let's remain on our feet to get into this. Y'all, we have our doctor, apostle, uh, Benjamin Moore with us tonight, the third, uh, BT3. All right. Um, but he's, he's just a vessel. All right. And so he's a vessel who has willingly... Uh, allowed himself to be used of the Lord, all right? And so he's coming in the name of the Lord tonight. He's not coming in his own name. He's coming in the name of the Lord. And, and like I said, God is intentional about what he's doing. 
And so that's why we had to move like we're moving tonight. And we've, and we've flipped this out really quick. Okay? And so let's open our hearts to what God desires to do and speak to us tonight. All right? And uh, we're going to go ahead and greet him. That's my doctor over here. Praise the Lord, sir. Let's go ahead and clap our hands for Dr. Apostle Benjamin Moore. Have your way. Pulpit, Lord. <laughs> we acting like COVID, y'all. <laughs> it's all good. Hallelujah. Let's give our praise and our honor unto the Lord tonight. Come on, we can do a little bit better than that. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. God is good. I want to welcome all of you tonight. Um, I got to uh, just acknowledge your pastor, Pastor Derek and First Lady Valerie Miller. Uh, thank you so much for all that you've done and are continuing to do. Amen. It's, it's in uh, also Prophet Keisha PK, we call her PK, uh, with us tonight. Uh, I'm excited about what God is doing, and I say that uh, in the realm of faith. I want to welcome all those who are watching online as well. It's funny, I didn't tell Pastor Derek this, but I was literally just about to text him before he texted me. Honest to God, I, I was sitting in my office, and he came to my mind. I said, let me, before I was even able to, so he texted me, and I asked me to be here tonight. Um, and so it was already in my spirit to make sure he, you guys were doing all right. Uh, so obviously the Lord has something to say, something to do tonight. Uh, what I want us to do is I'm going to teach for about 10, 15 minutes, and then we're going to go right back into prayer. Is that all right? We're going to go right back into prayer. Uh, I'm going to be releasing the word of the Lord, and we're going to see what God does. Amen. I know he's going to do something amazing. I want you to go with me to um, Luke's Gospel, uh, the 11th chapter, Luke chapter number 11, and um, I'm going to read 10 verses there, and then we're going to uh, just talk about it for a few moments, and then we're going to pray, and then um, we're going to, you got the music for me, got the music ready? Okay. Uh, we're going to pray. And we're going to intercede, and I believe God to do some uh, tremendous things. Is that all right? All right. It's good to see everybody. Hopefully, by now you know how we flow. We're going to go to Luke chapter number 11, and we're going to read verses 42 through 52. And I'm going to read from the ESV. This is the words of Jesus. He said this, but woe to the Pharisees. For you tithe mint and rue and every herb and neglect justice and the love of God. These you ought to have done without neglecting the other. Woe to you Pharisees, for you love the best seats in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplace. Woe unto you, for you are like unmarked graves and people walk over them without knowing it. One of the lawyers answered him, teacher. In saying these things, you insult us also. I want you to pay attention. He's talking to the Pharisees at first. The lawyers are there overhearing Jesus talking to the Pharisees, and they say, well, you're offending us too. And he said, woe to you lawyers also. I love Jesus. Jesus was gangster. He's like, I said what I said. I said what I said, and, and you can get some of this too. He says, for you load people with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not touch the burdens with, which your, with your own fingers. He says, you're telling people to do all this stuff, and you're not even helping them bear the burdens that you're putting on them. You ever had a job where the boss tells you to do everything, do everything, and they just sit back and put their hands in their pocket and, <laughs> and watch you do the work? That's what he's saying, okay? He says, woe to you, for you build tombs of the prophets whom your fathers killed, so you are witnesses, and you consent to the deeds of your fathers, for they killed them, and you built their tombs. 49, I want you to hear this. He says, therefore also the wisdom of God said, I will send 
them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute. So that the blood of all the prophets shed from the foundation of the world may be charged against this generation from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, it will be required of this generation. I'm not going to get into that. There's a lot of eschatological implications and the law and all those sorts of things. Here's what I wanted, though. Verse number 52. I brought you all the way there to bring us to verse 52. Here's what I wanted, and then we're going to get into this, and then we're going to pray. Amen? He says, Woe to you lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You do not enter yourselves, and you hindered those who were entering. I want to talk just for a few moments about mind blocks. I want to talk about mind blocks for just a moment uh, because I feel like the Holy Spirit is going to do some mental miracles tonight. Amen. So to, to, to be locked into something means that you are in a state of restricted access and functionality. To be locked into something means that you cannot move forward. You cannot advance. You are stuck. And. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to address some things in prayer concerning being locked in a place and being stuck in a place. And truth be told, some of us are locked in our, locked out of or restricted from our identities. We are locked into habits. We are locked into attitudes. And the truth of the matter is some of us are only functioning at a limited capacity rather than functioning in the fullness of who we are or could be functioning in. Okay? So here are some of the effects of being locked. Number one, put this in your notes. Number one, dysfunctional patterns. If you're watching tonight, you're streaming uh, with us, I want you to type in the comments, dysfunctional patterns. I'm not going to have you raise your hand, but I want you to begin to think about the patterns that you find yourself in. Don't raise your hand, but if we're honest, there are probably some things that we do that we don't want to do. There's probably some habits that we have, and we feel bad because we want to stop the habit, but we just don't feel like we can. That's number one. Number two, I want you to write down the feelings of suffocation or claustrophobia. Okay, claustrophobia just means that you have a fear of being in tight places. And what happens is when we are in these patterns of dysfunctional thinking and when we are locked into something or somewhere, we feel like we can't move or we can't breathe. If, if you've ever been on a plane, uh, what the worst part for me when I fly is not the takeoff is not the landing. The worst part for me is after we are at the gate and we're waiting for everybody to get off the plane. Like, I just, I'm like, get off of the plane. I'm ready to get off of here. Like, I'm fine the whole way there. But as soon as we've, we've landed, they say, take the seatbelt signs off. I'm like, I think people are on purpose just taking their time. And the truth of the matter is we can get into the, some of those same feelings and patterns of behavior when we are not moving and functioning in the correct way. That's number two. Number three is the spirit of limitation. This is the effects of being locked. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying here. When we are locked into something, we are inundated and influenced by a spirit of limitation. What does that mean? That means you feel like you can't go any further. If somebody says you can, the first thing you say is I can't. If someone says you can be a millionaire, you say, no, I'm stuck on welfare. If someone says you can actually have a good, happy home and marriage, you say, no, nah, I've never seen that. I don't know what that looks like. I, not me. Maybe you can, but not me. This is the spirit of limitation. And then the last one, and I'm not going to, again, please don't raise your hand. 
is you experience high levels of frustration. High levels of frustration. Just frustrated. You're touchy. Good morning. What's so good about it? You're alive, so and what? You are probably experiencing some level of limitation, frustration, dysfunctional pattern. Now, I don't share these things with you for you to feel condemned. I want you to raise your right hand. Say, I am not condemned. Come on, I want you to say it again. Say, I am not condemned. Say this, say, I have been accepted in the beloved. So God does not condemn you when you are feeling these things, but he sends you voices to help you get out of them. Are you hearing me? So we're about to address this, this thing of, uh, called mind blocks, okay? So here's what a mind block is. It is the inability to receive and conceive fresh information and revelation for your life. I'm going to say that again. A mind block is the inability to receive, everyone say receive, and conceive, everyone say conceive, fresh information and revelation for your life. Okay? So I want you to know that you must have the activity of your mind functioning in the mind of Christ in order for you to reach your destiny. I'm going to say that one more time. I want you to know that you have to have the activity of your mind. Everyone say, well, my, my mind. Everyone say, my mind. Functioning in the mind of Christ in order to reach your destiny. Okay? Now, I, I'm almost done. We're about to pray, so I need you to, to hear this. Humanity got locked in the garden. When Adam and Eve came into agreement with the serpent, they essentially made a covenant or a pact with humanity. Listen to me carefully. Sin, brothers and sisters, is not just taking the candy bar that doesn't belong to you. Okay? Sin is not just violating the, the law. Sin is actually a disease. Oh, God. Hear me. It is a disease. Watch this. Let me prove it to you. If I, I want you to imagine a rotten apple. Okay, I want you to see a rotten apple. And you know what apples do when they start turning rotten? They're getting soft and brown and kind of mushy. If you take that rotten apple and you put it next to a fresh apple, do you know what will happen? The fresh apple will start going bad at the point of contact with the rotten apple. There is a disease that is transferred by proximity. So what happens is the scripture says in Romans that in, in Adam all became sinners. So because in Adam we were born in this, with this disease or this condition of sin. Now, again, sin is a disease, but sin is, is more than a disease. It, it will literally become your Lord and your master. And a part of the effects of sin oh God, is affecting how you think. Now, I do want you to raise your hand on this question. And if don't feel bad, because I'm going to raise my hand on it too. How many know that sin will make you stupid? Wow. To my adults, have you ever broken up with somebody and you said, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. And you look at them and you say, what was I thinking? <laughs> They're not even cute. 
like they have nothing going for them at all. <laughs> you know why? Because you were probably in sin. And your inability to perceive correctly got you caught into a relationship that caused you to have depression, anger, shame, guilt. And then when God finally delivers you, you go, wow, I wasted all this time messing with boo-boo the fool because I was in my feelings and I was in sin. Do I have any adults that can identify with what I'm saying? Oh, I got two handers. All right. Now, we're going to do this. We're going to pray. Let me deal with the text real quick here. So I said all of that to say, I want you to look at verse 52 again in Luke chapter number 11. Jesus said to the lawyers, you have taken away the key of knowledge. You do not allow others themselves uh, to enter in and you're blocking them. Now, when he said lawyers here, I want you to understand that in the time of Jesus, there were the Pharisees, the scribes, and the lawyers. These were people who were um, very rigid in their thinking. They could, not, they could not see anything other than it's this way or that way. Okay? They're just, boom, it's like this, it's like that. So, so their thinking literally stopped people, the Bible says, from moving into knowledge. Okay? They're legalistic dogmatic, rigid, it's my way or the highway. It's just a legalistic attitude. Listen to me. And this is why Satan is known as the accuser of the brethren. I want you to hear me. We're about to pray. Because Satan is a legalist. He's a lawyer. Now, don't raise your hand yet. But he will get you into a place where he will accuse you and try to bring you before the presence of God and say, they don't deserve a blessing because they've made too many mistakes. Because your word says, and they have violated your word, Jesus, I recommend that you, that you charge them with a crime. Go ahead and start playing that music for me, please. Here's what I'm trying to get you to see. They became prosecutors, and they began to change the thinking of the people of God where they literally could not begin to think on a whole nother level, which is where God wanted them to think. I want you to think about yourself. We're about to pray in just a moment. I want you to think about those areas in your heart, in your life, and in your family, that is a mind block. I want you to think about those things that you seemingly just cannot recover from. You've tried and you've tried and you've tried and it's just you keep running into a brick wall and things just don't seem to break or they don't seem to shake. I'm telling you tonight the Holy Spirit wants to break you out of that sort of mentality. Hallelujah. I want you to stand to your feet. We're about to pray. We're about to pray. Turn that up just a little bit for me, please. We're about to pray. I believe the Holy Spirit is about to release some mental miracles tonight. I believe the Holy Spirit is about to speak to you concerning generational curses, generational things that have kept you bound and that have kept you from moving forward. I, we want to address those mind blocks tonight. Even if you're watching online, I want you to find a comfortable spot. If you're watching us online, if you can, if you can pull over or if you need to go to the bedroom or whatever. But I feel the strength of God tonight to deal with those issues in our hearts and in our minds. Some of us are so sin conscious that when God is trying to push us forward and trying to advance us, the devil comes in our ear and says, you can't be blessed, you can't move forward, you've done too much. It is that lawyer mentality that stops you from flowing in the knowledge of God. 
And I want you to begin to think about that thing. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to begin to think about that thing. I want you to begin to get that on your heart. Get that on your mind. And remember, we are not condemned. We, are, we have been accepted in the beloved. There is nothing that the Father will withhold from us. But I want us to begin to come into agreement with what the Holy Spirit wants to do tonight. God wants to release a word to you tonight. He wants to release something into your heart that moves you beyond the mind blocks. He wants to release his spirit towards you that gets you to begin to think like Jesus and act like Jesus and behave like Jesus and have an attitude like Jesus and have a heart like Jesus but you have to come out of agreement with generational thinking you have to come out of agreement and allow Holy Spirit in those places in your mind you have to open oh oh oh, oh hallelujah come on open up your heart right now open up your heart Open up your heart. Open up your heart. Come on. We're going to release the word of the Lord, but I want you to open up your heart. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to get into the mode of prayer. Come on. The Holy Spirit is here to minister to you. Open up your mind. Open up your heart. Open up your spirit to the Father tonight. Hallelujah. Come on. Father, we worship you. Before we ask for anything, we thank you for everything. Before we ask for anything, hallelujah, we thank you for everything everything. We thank you for dying on Calvary's cross. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for redemption by your blood. We thank you for grace and mercy and truth. Father, we thank you for all that you have done for us. How you have saved us and healed us and resurrected us. That we are sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when we see you, we shall be like you. So we say, shut up, Satan. We are moving into the realm of sonship. We are moving into the realm of understanding that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Shut up, Satan. Satan. We are coming into a place where depression no longer has a hold of us. We are coming into a place where we can move in the things of God. Come on, open up your mind. Oh, by Satan. Come on, open up your heart. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I come out of agreement with depression. I come out of agreement with anger. Come on. Say it. I come out of agreement with suicide. I come out of agreement with generational poverty. I come out of agreement with fornication. I come out of agreement. Come on. I come out of agreement with poverty. I come out of agreement with rebellion. I come out of agreement with rejection. I come out of agreement. Come on. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Come on, close your eyes and engage with Holy Spirit. You don't have to be condemned. You don't have to feel bad about it. The Lord sent his word and healed them. Come on, even if you're watching on the stream, the Holy Spirit is not limited by distance. The Holy Spirit is not limited. Come on, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth, circle of hope. This is your moment. This is your moment to receive something from God. Come on, this is your moment. We open up our minds to the Holy Spirit and say, Lord, I need you. I've got to have you. I open up my heart to you, Jesus. I open up my mind to you. We come out of agreement. That's right. We fall out of agreement with every mind block, every mental block, everything keeping you from flowing in the mind of Christ. We rebuke it and we cast it down. In the name of Jesus. Come on, that's right. We pour down every stronghold and everything that rises up against the obedience of God and say, Come under my feet. In the name of Jesus, I will access knowledge. I will access revelation. I will understand the things of God. I will not be silent. I will open my mouth and declare that I shall live live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. I will not suffer from generational curses. I, oh, I come against the spirit of abandonment. I bind the spirit of an orphan. I come out so tired. Come on, out of agreement with that. I come against those word curses that were spoken over your life. 
by your parents. I come against those word curses that were spoken over your life by a previous lover. I come against those word curses that were spoken over your life by a teacher. I bind it in. That's right. Loose that thing. Let it go. Loose it. I cut the Maya. I unravel it from your soul. I unravel it from your soul. That's right. I unravel it from your soul. Let the Holy Ghost in that room. Let the Holy Ghost in that place. Come on. Let him in. Let him in. Let him have access to your thoughts. Let him have access to your secrets. Let him have access. That's right. Let him have access to those areas that you say are off limits. The devil is a liar. You shall not die. You shall not die. I come against spirits attached to perversion. I come against spirits attached to homosexuality. I come against spirits attached to poverty. I bind those generational root workers from your ancestors in the name of Jesus. The hoodoo and the voodoo. The dark magic and the manipulation. Come on. I come out of a group with it now. I bind it. That's right. If you need to scream, scream. If you need to holler, holler. If you need to cry, cry. But come out of agreement with it. Come out of agreement with it. Come out of agreement with that secret sin. Come out. There is no condemnation. There is no condemnation. I bind every spirit attached to shame. I bind every Every spirit attached to lust. I bind every spirit attached to suicide. You will not take your life. You will not take too many pills. You will not slit your wrist. You will not drive off a cliff. You will not take your own life with a gun. You will not shoot yourself in the head. You will not take your life. You are the beloved of God. God likes you. He accepts you. He receives you as his own. I command the future of God, the destiny of God to be released upon you. I come against premature death. I bind the spirit attached to dying early. I command you to live. 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 I come against illegal transactions in the realm of the spirit. I bind it in Jesus name. The blood of Jesus covers you. The blood of Jesus covers your mind. The blood of Jesus covers your spirit. The blood of Jesus covers your generations. The blood of Jesus covers your children. The blood of Jesus covers your future. Shatora Basha. Come on, pull on that. Come on, pull. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I will not have a mind block. I'm not going to end up dead. I'm not going to do the things that my parents did. I'm going to walk in love. Come on, open your mouth. I'm going to walk in this thing. I'm going to move in this thing. Come on, the Holy Spirit is moving even now. The Holy Spirit, let him in. Let him in that place. Let him in that room. Let him in, let him in, let him in. Let him in, let him in, let him in. in. There is now therefore no condemnation. Me soto baya. 
Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Libra soto remenea. Libana mama sombrata. My mind is clear. My heart is clear. I come out of agreement with legalism. I come out of agreement. Come on. I come out of agreement with religion. I come out of agreement. I come out of agreement. That's right. I am the righteousness of God. I am accepted in the beloved. I no longer have to sin. I no longer have to fornicate. I no longer have to be in adultery. I no longer need drugs and alcohol. I no longer need peer pressure. I'm being accepted in the beloved of God. God loves me. He likes me. He accepts me. He sings over me. I am the apple of his eye. I am the apple of his eye. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Come on, we break it. We break covenant now. Come on, I want you to open up your mouth and say, I break covenant with every unclean spirit. I break covenant with every unclean spirit. Come on, say it with your mouth. Say, I break covenant with suicide. Say, I break covenant with poverty. I break covenant with depression. Come on, say it. Say, I break covenant now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. Come on. You say it with your own mouth. Say, I shall live and not die. And I break covenant with fear. I break covenant. Come on. Open your mouth and say it. Say, I break covenant with fear. I break covenant with death. I break covenant with religion. I break covenant with legalism. I break covenant. Come on. Say it. I break covenant with anger. I break covenant with depression. I break covenant now with poverty. I cut it off of my soul. I cut it out of my mind in Jesus' name. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Likara masoto rebeda. Librande be sombrenda rahaya. Libra sora batakashata. Come on, spring up a well. Spring up a well. There's a river in you. Spring up a well. There's a river in your soul. There's a river in your spirit. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Come on, out of the heart of the Father shall flow rivers of living water. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Even if you're watching online, I want to prophesy strength to you online. I want to prophesy love to you online. I want to prophesy to you acceptance and identity. Come on. I break that covenant of stale, dry, religious legalism in the name of Jesus. Mashata, lo so re mana maso tobo ya. Mante bana basong koto bashia. Come on, open up your mouth. That's right, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Come on, there's a strength coming to you. I prophesy strength coming back to you. I prophesy strength. I prophesy strength coming back to you. In the name of Jesus. Come on, oh, oh. I heard this. This is the season of recovery. I, I just heard that real loud. Ah, right, this is the season of recovery. This is the season of recovery what you have lost God is about to help you to recover oh my god this is the season of recovery did you hear what I said I said this is the season of recovery okay come on we break limitations we break limitations. We break limitations. We break limitations. 
We break limitations. We break limitations. Stand behind your wife. We break limitations. We break limitations. We break limitations. The spirit of limitation be broken now. Lift your hands, everyone. The spirit of limitations be broken now. The spirit of limitation be broken now. I said, lift everyone, lift your hands. I said, the spirit of limitation over your life be broken now in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. God is doing some healing right now. Come on, God is healing right now. 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 I command heal in the name of Jesus. Pray in Jesus' name. 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 In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Jesus name. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Come on, mind blockage is coming out. Pray, pray, pray. Come on, come on. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray. Come on, God is doing some things in your generation. God is doing God is doing some things in your bloodline. I feel this. God is doing some things right now. You can't explain it, but just being in this atmosphere, God is Chataya. I hear God say, I'm all Arbitrating your future. I hear God saying that. He's saying, I'm arbitrating your future. That means I'm going into your future and I'm rearranging. I'm signing some contracts on your behalf. It's a bond there. Yeah. Come on. Stay right there. 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 Come on. Stay right there. Come on. We press in. We press in. Come on. We press in. I'm going to get healed tonight. Not only do I sense spiritual healing, but I sense physical healing. If you've got an ailment, listen to me. If you've got an ailment in your body, and you and it is appropriate for you to touch that area like if it's your arm or your your heart or your chest if it's appropriate for you to physically touch it in front of everybody i want you to put your hand on that area listen even if you're watching us online i want you to do the same thing in the privacy of your car or your home if you need physical healing i want you to touch that area that needs to be healed and the name my son, I feel the Holy Ghost about to do something right now. I hear this. The Lord says, I, I can't I, I need you here to do my work. I sense this by the Holy Ghost that the enemy will seek to keep you lame and handicapped in the physical realm because you won't be able to be effective in this earth if you're sick and tired and wounded. But the Father right now, that's why right, I feel it right here. 
I just release healing right now. I release healing in this atmosphere. And I command every area of pain. I command every area of dysfunction. I command every area where your blood is not functioning and flowing correctly. Where there is arthritis. Where there is something out of order. I command it to come into order now. In the name of Jesus. Come on, loose that thing. Loose it, loose it, loose. Some of you are in pain physically because you are in agreement with the spirit. I need you to come out of agreement. I need you to break covenant. I need you to come out of agreement with things that you have said about yourself. I need you to come out of agreement with that and say, I am healed in this moment. That's right, come on. Come on, every area of blockage, I command a flow. Every area where there has been restriction of movement, I command you to be able to move without pain. Everything that has kept you from being mobile, I command you to be mobile in Jesus' name. Come on, just pray in the Holy Ghost. Monde manda sin kere ma dia da sotoria. Come on, pray with me. Come on, pray. Limbrande be sora bana. Mande mande o sotoria da. Matokori tata bashin koto. Hallelujah. 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 Sister Kim, if you can come forward, please. Sister Kim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard this for you. Standing up there, I heard this for you. The Lord said that he's about to give you a greater spirit of maturity. Just as you and your husband have, have children, you're also going to come into the realm of the spirit where you are going to begin to birth spiritual children. There's some things that you've been through. <laughs> I see this. Somebody watch her. She, I think she might just, yeah, just stand behind her, please. There's some things in the realm of the spirit that you have seen. And I sense this. I see this. I see you writing in a journal. You got a journal? I see you writing in a journal about some things that God has been showing you and God is revealing to you. And there's a level of intimidation or uncertainty about what he is showing you and those things that you're writing in a journal and I see you vacillating back and forth and you're like should I write it do I believe this is this God or is this me I don't understand but I'm gonna just write it anyway but the Lord told me to tell you that it is indeed him and that he will perfect that concerns you not only will he perfect it but the Lord said I'm also going to perform what I said this last year the assault on your family the assault with your daughter the assault with your husband all of the things that have happened this year the Lord says I've been using it to bring you into this place the Lord says I've been calling you and drawing you and wooing you and you've been kind of like I'm coming I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, but what about this, but what about that? But the Lord says, this is that season. He says, I'm using this season to get your attention. I'm using this season to tell you who you are. I'm using this season to bring you into another place of intimacy. And the Lord sent me this word because this word tonight was for you two, if for nobody else but for you two, because there's been a mind blockage that has tried to keep you from moving into the intimacy that the Father has ordained for you. Shatabaka. 
in the name of Jesus. Woo. I, come on, everyone, just lift your hands, please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My dear sister, please come up. It says, you are enough. Yep, you. You are enough. Sister, you are enough. Just lift your hands. Brennan, stand behind her. As you were back there worshiping, I saw you. And the Lord told me, I hear this. He said to tell her that I'm breaking the generational curse over your bloodline. He said, there's, a, there's been such a hunger in you, but you don't know how to satisfy that hunger. And the Lord says, that's me because I'm wooing you and drawing you. And you've been surrounded by, lack of a better word, don't be offended by it, but you've been surrounded by knuckleheads. And you've listened to hard-headed people who have been rebellious. And you've wanted to just get along and you just wanted to make sure everybody was okay. And you didn't want to offend them and you didn't want them to feel bad. But this, that season is over. Look me in the face. That season is over. That's right. And so as I lay my hands on you, there's going to be an activation of the grace of God that comes out of your spirit to give you holy boldness. In the next 30 days, you're gonna have many conversations and many opportunities to fall back into agreement with that old season. But there's gonna be a boldness that comes out of you and you're not even gonna be able, you're like, I can't even stop saying what I'm saying. It's like the Holy Spirit is literally gonna take over your words. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Shama. In the name of Jesus. I told you mental miracles tonight. I told you mental miracles tonight. Mental, Otto, I want you to put your hand on your head and just say mental miracles. Say every mind block. Come on, say every mind block. I command you to go. Okay. Pastor, first lady, come up here, please. I want everyone to just either listen to the instructions. I want everyone to either lift your hands up to the Father or towards your pastor and his wife. But every, every hand should be in a direction, either up or out, or maybe you even want to do this. But there's about to be a transaction that occurs. <laughs> okay. As I was standing here, Lord told me he's going to give you ideas to become millionaires. And I was like, really? He's like, yes. Because that sounds so cliche. That sounds like, oh, you're going to be a millionaire. Oh, that sounds so cliche. But the Lord is going to begin to give you business ideas. And there's some things that are going to come to you when the house is quiet. Both of you are laying in bed. And it's going to hit you. It's going to be like, why didn't I think of that before? What were we doing? What were we thinking? And the Lord says, I'm going to begin to give you favor, not only with me, says God, but also with man. Lift your hands, please. There's going to, there's a new level of favor. I hear the Lord say, because you endured the test because you handled it correctly. The Lord says, I'm going to honor you with riches and influence. 
this is the year of unusual favor. And Mary, hallelujah, the mother of Jesus, found favor in the sight of God. Even though she was pregnant, even though she was talked about, even though she was ridiculed, even though things were said about her, she was favored of God. And sometimes favor is heavy. Brennan, stand behind your parents. Sometimes favor is heavy. Sometimes favor is not what you want. And I hear you saying, God, why me? Why'd you, why, I don't understand. I don't, I don't get this. I don't, why me? Why'd you choose me? Why'd you select me? I don't get this. I don't understand. But the Lord says, you have passed the final test before elevation comes. There's coming a new strength to your preaching. There's coming a new authority to your preaching. There's coming a new grace to your intercession. There's coming a new grace to your motherhood. There's coming a new grace to your words. And the Lord says, I'm going to favor you with everything that you need. Over the next six months, I command nothing but open doors and favor. Boom. Open doors. Favor. Boom. Open doors. Favor. Otaba. Otobosia. Ma. Yeah. Uh-huh. In the name of Jesus, open doors and favor, open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors, favor, 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 open doors and favor, open doors and favor, new authority, fresh revelation, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I wish I, I wish y'all would praise God for your pastor and his life. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, God is doing something. Mind blocks removed. Mental miracles. Hallelujah. Come on, every hand lift it now. Every hand lift it now. Come on, every hand lift it now. Every hand lifted now. Mantenda la mande be his torre daia. Mantenda la mande be kiss on torre bata kataka taka taka. Mantenda la nama hurre bata kasita taka. That's right. Come on. Let something come out of your spirit. Come on. A new tongue. A fresh song. Come on. Let us all be so rabatakata. Let Baran Rabaho so rabataka. Linkam brante koto to soto. Come on. Something fresh. Something new. Something fresh. Something new. Come on. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Something fresh and something new. Hallelujah. Come on, just lift your hands. Father, I worship you. Father, we worship you. I'm almost done. I'm wrapping up here. Listen. Hallelujah. Lashata. Manda basson to robo ho sata. Mante ke son de nana mande sana. I keep hearing this to address poverty. I want you to hear me well, please. Poverty is not exclusive to the realm of money. P 
poverty is the state of being without extreme lack. And some of us have a poverty mentality as it comes to relationships, as it comes to career, as it comes to life, and yes, even as it comes to money. I believe that there is an anointing on my life to break poverty. I want you to hear me clearly. Last year, the end, actually the end of 2021, and primarily in 22, we came under our, our new apostolic covering. This is the honest to God truth. The Lord would put it on my heart to sow into his life. Bing, bing, bing. And every single time without fail, within a week, listen to me, within a week, I'm not lying. Within a week, I'm not even exaggerating. Within a week, the amount that I sowed into his life came back back to me and more I believe that the anointing flows like this I want to challenge you to sow a significant seed tonight I want you to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit concerning what to give, what to sow. And I believe that if you are obedient to the voice of the Holy Spirit and you sow in faith, that the Father will meet that need and cause it to happen for you. I believe that. I believe that. In the spirit of honesty and transparency, the month of June, our refrigerator went out. Our kitchen sink went out, our air condition went out, my car rear view, uh, side window went out, and I'm forgetting some other things, but there was literally eight things that just went kaput in one month's time. All of those things are fixed, and I'm commanding upon your life that same level of favor and resources and anointing to be upon you. I want you to sow something tonight. Even those of you who are on, online, sow something tonight. Every hand lifted. Father, we honor your presence tonight. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for this time of intercession, prophetic release, for the times of refreshing, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. And we seal every word tonight that has been spoken over the people of God. We seal this atmosphere. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I come against every backlash, every sabotaging spirit. Be silenced in Jesus' name. If you agree with God tonight, I want you to lift up the best praise you can. Come on, I want you to open up your mouth. That's right, come on, come on, come on, come on, that's it. Come on, come on, that's it, raise your voice. Come on, that's it, raise your voice. Hallelujah. Come on, that's right, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah. How many feel better now than they did when they walked in? Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We honor you. Come on, let's receive your pastor at this time. Pastor Derek Miller. Come on, we're done. Come on, let's, let's clap our hands one more time for the Lord. Let's go ahead and stand to our feet as we prepare to dismiss. 
And so Apostle Moore, he talked about sowing that seed. And so if you can sow that seed, you can sow at this time. Most of us give electronically and so sow our seed. And let's believe God, all right? We're going to believe God. So those of you who may not know, we do cash out, and that is Circle of Hope, uh, FLC, dollar sign, Circle of Hope, FLC. Venmo, and we have uh, PayPal. So, and give the fly. So however you want to sow, amen. We're going to believe God, all right? All right? I don't know about you, but I've been blessed tonight. I love when God interrupts our, our plans, all right? And he comes and speaks to our hearts. How many feel better than when you came? Y'all feel good tonight? All right. All right. Look, y'all, let's keep this same fire. Let's keep this same intentionality for prayer, all right? Let's get after the heart of God. The rest of this entire week, all right? Let's get after him. Let's invite somebody to church on Sunday, all right? Let's, let's go after souls. Let's go fishing for souls. Let's help others to get this freedom, all right? This freedom that we have found in Christ Jesus, all right? Amen. Let's lift our hands one more time as we dismiss. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your power, your grace, your mercy, your love. We thank you for revelation and confirmation. God, we thank you for the reminders, God, of how much you love us, how much you care for us. Oh, God, we pray right now, God, that we will hide this word, hide it in our hearts, God, that we may not sin against you. God, help us to guard our hearts, to keep our hearts with all diligence. And Father, we just bless you right now, God, for all that you're doing, all that you're going to do. We thank you for the hope and the expectation that you're allowing us to have in you. God, we thank you for those that are watching live, those that are watching on a replay. God, we pray that you will uh, bless them. God, draw them into the house, God, into this presence, into this beautiful place, oh God, where you abide. Oh God, but help us to know even more importantly, God. Hallelujah. Christ in us is the hope of glory. And may we carry you with us all the days of our lives. And we give you all the honor, all the praise, and all the glory. God, bless the seeds that we sow. God, multiply them. God, blow our minds this week. Blow our minds, God, because we dare to trust you in absolute faith. We give you the glory right now in Jesus' name. Everybody shout in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. Come on, let's go love on each other, encourage each other in Jesus' name.